ties. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Google Documents as a substitute for something like Microsoft Word. Now, Microsoft Word can't, well, Google Docs or, you know, Google Docs at this point can't emulate all the features in Microsoft Word. It won't be a complete replacement. However, Google Docs can be a repository, a place where you can put your files um, to be very useful to you. As a college student, you're going to be taking a lot of notes, and if you're fortunate enough to have classes where you can take notes um, via your laptop, I really do suggest you just take them through Google Docs. Now, you might be wondering, well, I have to have an internet, um, an internet connection when I use it. That's not true. You can actually use Google Docs offline, and you just need to download a small program that will store all the files on your computer and online. So when you update something offline, the moment you connect online, it will automatically update it online to the most latest edition. In addition, this is also useful and helpful for collaboration and having people work on documents together. So instead of talking about that, let's get started so you can see what I mean. So you can find the Google Documents feature up here on the top left corner click documents and it'll open up this and so you can find just a list of files that I have already created and what I want to do is well let's talk about the features here you can create a new document a presentation a spreadsheet or a form you can upload documents that you've already made in, let's say Microsoft Word you can share you can share the files and you can move documents hide documents and things like that uh, you can also create folders here. So this actually works with a right click for for Windows. You can right click and you can click New Folder, and we can call something like Test Save, and it'll show up here. So let's say I want to create a new document. I can actually right click in this window or go here and click New Document. and you can change the heading by clicking on this let's say lecture one lecture one blah 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 and then you can save it you just save it and close now here's a weird thing I don't, it doesn't necessarily show up here you're gonna have to go to the main web page or the main page find your file here you can drag it and drop it so you can see here you can click it hold and drop it under test and then you can click under here and you can find your file you can click it and open it and just save it and close you can also share it click here you can invite people and you can put their email and uh, give them the option just to view or to edit so why is this important think about it this way so you're on your computer and you are always putting up notes let's say one day you don't happen to have your computer or your laptop or your battery dies you can go to any computer on campus log on to Google Docs and access your notes you don't need your your laptop that you've been taking with you you can leave it at home and you'll have access to your files even if you have an iPod touch or some sort of small device that can be a browser I think you can actually access your files on that device so you can be constantly connected to your information in addition if you happen your computer happens to just you know go on the fritz and the hard drive crashes that information is still saved online and I can for sure guarantee to you that Google Docs or things in Google will usually be pretty stable and if anything ever happens to Google Docs they'll let you know and they'll tell you that maybe they're gonna discontinue Google Docs and, and, and maybe change it. They'll give you a heads up, but if your hard drive crashes, you'll lose all that information. In addition, you make it really easy to share with your friends. So if someone needs notes, just share it, invite people, send them a link, and then they can view the notes for that class. So that's really helpful um, to share documents. You can also create worksheets, Excel files, uh, and if you use it to your advantage and you start off and, and you make a good system of taking notes and saving it online uh, it'll be really helpful again this won't replace things like Microsoft Word and 
and writing stuff, but if you're writing a rough draft for an essay, I don't see anything wrong with writing it on here. That way you have a saved copy online in the case that your computer crashes or something and, and it's gone. This is always constantly saving periodically. In addition, it also saves previous editions of a, of a document. So if I open this and I think I make it some changes and just say save and close, I think I can view previous editions. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's see here. I assume that feature is there. If uh, I'm thinking it's actually available. If you can find it, great. I can't actually find it right now. Oh, here we go. If you click on File, it'll show Revision History, and it'll show you the different changes that you've made, and you can click on the one you want to go back to, so you can see what was changed from the previous edition. So I honestly think that's really beneficial in terms of editing documents and figuring out how things changed. So. Just a quick review of what we learned. We learned how to use the Google Document feature, just the basic essentials. Um, we're using it as a repository to save our notes. Maybe you've saved notes on Microsoft Word. That's fine. You can upload documents from Microsoft Word and upload it here as well. No problem at all. Um, so use that information. Use those tools. Use the folder features here on your left-hand side. Create folders, and you can create folders in folders to really help organize um, your information. Uh, so now I have a folder in that. Maybe I'm going to drag and drop this lecture into class one. So use it to your advantage. Um, and I think if you, if you use it, you utilize it, you will definitely save time and it will make your life a lot easier in the case of an emergency. All right, hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please send me an email.